Hi all, welcome to the Storyline Fred play review. You can now unlock this card, the earliest you can unlock them at 7pm at Friday night if you had done 24 wins in Food Champions, but most realistically most people would have unlocked them at early 7pm yesterday, which I was part of that club. But if you can smash links, it would be awesome. Sub to the channel if you are new, follow me on Twitter at G is a legend. All the links are down below for posting the channel and social media links as always. Comment down below if you're going to go for Fred. Bellotti or Carrasco, we obviously went for Fred because he would fit the team regardless and we saw them in over Polino just for this play review um, just to see how we would go if we were to realistically do any um, adjustments it would probably be you'd go in over Rivaldo but then you'd need uh, like Desai or Blanc and Firi over um, Koeman to make Cyprien get full chem because Fred would get the chemistry of like pulling you on Jesus no problem but regardless we will play him CDM to start off with and then in game for the second half we will change him to a cam we will swap him for Rivaldo just to see how he plays in an attacking role and just test him out from there so he's got 84 pace 83 shot 86 pass 90 dribbling 83 defending and 78 physical we have slapped an anchor chemistry style to put him into the 80 plus club Mainly because we also felt as well when we looked over his stats, his physical is probably the one element of his game that needs improvement. But also I feel in this stage of FIFA that extra pace boost is necessary. He's 5 foot 7, he's got high high work rates, left footed, 4 star skill moves, 4 star weak foot. And in the 7 games we have played with him he's got 2 goals and 3 assists. Now I will say right off the bat from him, from playing with him, what I found his biggest issue is he is easily a Marmite type player. For some people he will click for you and for some people he will not. It took me about 3 or 4 games to um, kind of get an assist or even a goal out of him, like an attack. Even when it was the first game I noticed that he was pretty sound but it was the end result was just not there and I was kind of thought I was maybe toiling to get anything out of him. But in terms of his stats, he's got 86 acceleration, 81 sprint speed, which go up to 91 and 86 respectively with the anchor. 78 attack positioning, 81 finishing, 86 shot power, 84 long shot, 79 volley, 73 penalties, 87 vision, 76 crossing, 82 free kicks, 90 short pass and long pass, 80 curve, 93 agility, 97 balance, 90 reactions, 91 ball control, 87 dribbling, 92 composure. 87 interceptions, 61 head next to 83 defensive awareness, 89 stand tackle and 79 slide tackle. Interceptions go up to 92, head accuracy up to 71, defensive awareness 93, stand tackle 99 and slide tackle 89 due to anchor. 90 jumping which goes up to 99, 92 stamina, 66 strength and 85 aggression. Um, strength going up to 71 and 95 aggression respectively. I will say this as well, in game I don't know what it is, but his stamina is absolutely awful. Don't know what it is. I noticed in quite a few of the games, he, like, the best comparison I always felt when I was comparing stamina was him to Rivaldo, because um, Rivaldo I usually would have to sub out if I'm struggling for stamina. Fred was seemingly, for what I was noticing in game, was kind of draining quite badly on stamina, which was kind of a worry. I was like, that was, especially in the first half, like as a CDM, it was like, even though he wasn't attacking much, he was doing his defensive duties. I thought, what on earth was going wrong with this card? Like, where is the issue? Like, he's not a CDM because obviously strength is a big issue right away off the bat. Now, attacking wise, he is someone that can't really attack either. That's his problem. Like, when I was attacking with him, I, like, I wasn't going to give him penalties because I thought 73 is not good enough and I thought that's what Koeman does, Koeman's like 95 penalties or something so I thought Koeman's a more um, reliable penalty taker and I had quite a few penalties over the 7 games I just didn't feel confident enough to even give Fred one of them because one is left footed as well and usually left footers are a little bit more predictable to know where to put them so I thought that kind of goes against Fred as well didn't get any free kicks sadly so I couldn't really test that but his big positives I would say are like his dribbling elements like agility balance, ball control, general dribbling were on point, his passing was very um, solid, nothing negative about that but fundamentally it is the physicals 
that are absolutely an off issue. Now, when you compare the um, like Bellotti or Carrasco, obviously it comes down to your team. Like Bellotti's just an 89 rated striker that's um, got good like three generally positive stats. Carrasco's just been given a healthy boost. It comes down to what fits your team. Fred, from an EPL perspective, is a good centre mid, but he's not a card that's going to be like oh going to be like game changing in your midfield I'm afraid he isn't he's a mar he is genuinely a marmite player it, as I said it took me four game three or four games to for me to click with the card and by that point I was like yeah I'm not really enjoying this card and he was always going to become fodder anyway but he just kind of like solidified it as the games were kind of going I will admit though um, when you kind of break down his like, even if you're just a casual, if you're a casual player and you're not really got the best team out there, then this thread could easily change your team up dramatically. If you've if you've need someone from like EPL that's say Brazilian, basically you say you're waiting for this card. If you've tried the man at match thread and you feel like oh this card's just perfect, I feel what's fundamentally wrong with this card as well. The boosts aren't enough. I feel like there's something just missing. It's almost where it's like if it had been an 80 plus club and if his strength had been say 70 then there might have been a difference like, and obviously going to 75 it might have been a um, different kettle of fish. Like his, where he definitely shines is the passing and the dribbling. The biggest problem then becomes like what else is he realistically good for? Like. As you saw from the seven games, like you would say two goals, three assists, well it's maybe not the best return. I would be honest. When first few games like I mean, it's always gonna take a few games to always kinda get used to what a player's capable of. In the one game alone he did get like two assists and one goal and after that game he was always um contributing in some element from like the fourth game on. So it's like yes it's like took maybe four games to kind of settle in but fundamentally, he needs something that the biggest problem is you like everyone's going to go a different kind of style. Some will go hawk, some will go anchor, some may even go something that just boosts up the physical dramatically. It comes down to what you fundamentally want this card to be. He's not going to outrun defenders. He's not going to outrun um, attackers. Um, so you've got to kind of fundamentally think where do you put him. And how do you play him? That is what it fundamentally comes down to. He is, he is a very, in my opinion, a very odd card. But there is still there is still something there that you can work with. Like I wouldn't be surprised if some folk go um, shadow with him just to boost up the pace and the, the defending, or do the same with Hunter. It's one of these um, conundrums with this card. Like you will. If people that unlock him will probably go Hunter, Catalyst, Shadow, um, quite easily. But they, but there's like, it's going to be an interesting conundrum regardless. This is what I think is what makes this card lack. It's it needs that extra boost. That's all it needs. It needs an extra boost, and you will see a difference. I thought he would be like a for straight um, type player. The upgraded one because that um, clicks very nicely. I thought he'd be like Polino, didn't um, um, do like that. But fundamentally, I would say if you want to kind of tick two requirements, usually for like icon swaps, which is what Premier League in Brazil, he will do it for you. Um, but if you're obviously needing a forward like Bellotti or a winger like Carrasco, then I can understand. At the end of the day, it's a free card. Uh, it just comes down to if you've been grinding the game. Um, trying to unlock it. It doesn't take too much hassle um, if you're just doing like the weekly objectives and some of the player objectives and making sure you get dailies in. I would personally say from an is it worth it perspective he's like about a 7, 7.5 out of 10. At the very most you squeeze an 8 but I would say 7.5 is probably um, fair. Like if you've got Polino or anyone depending on what you're going from icon swaps if you're still looking at like midfielders then low drop Litman and I would rather have them personally over this card or I'd even still have, I'd still be keeping um Polino or I'd even 
relying more on like the back of Yoko, for example. I'd rather have back of Yoko over um, Fred, if honest. But it's a very strange card, folks. As I said, I wish I could say I enjoyed this card. It's sadly not to be. Um, definitely a very Marmite player. I might play some more with him as a sub in Weekend League uh, today. But regardless, let me know if you're going to do it. Smash the like as always. Sub to channel if you're new. Follow me on Twitter. Jesus, I'll catch you all later.